Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm at the doctor's right now. Yes, I have all my questions. Okay, I'll call you afterwards. Okay, bye. Hey, I'm Dr. Pope. I'm Haley. Hi, Haley. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are good. you? Good. I'm good. Yeah. What can I do for you? Um, me and my boyfriend are looking into having a baby, yeah. and I'm not very educated about babies or anything, so I'm just wondering what I should expect, and I just have a few questions for you. Excellent. I see you brought your list. Yes. <laughs> What's your first question? Um, I just generally, what should I expect when I get pregnant? Well, what you should expect is to be prepared ahead of time for a healthy baby and a healthy pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, one of the first things we're going to do is check and make sure that your immunizations are current and up to date. Um, let's take a look at your chart. I see you had a tetanus shot recently. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have your MMRs all up to date. You're ready for that. That's, that's just terrific. The next thing we're going to um, focus on is nutrition. And um, what kind of a diet do you eat? Um, I try to have a healthy, balanced diet, fruits, vegetables. I try not to eat a lot of processed food and stuff. Excellent. And what about vitamins? Um, I'm on daily vitamins, nothing really special. To get pregnant, you want to switch to prenatal vitamins. Okay. Uh, prenatal vitamins have extra folic acid in them, which helps the growth of the baby's spine and mm -hmm. the brain. And they also have some vitamin B6, and that will help your mood, as well as help the baby develop. Okay, um, another question is, what are the risks since I'm so young, I'm only 21, what are some risks I should be worried about having a baby this young? <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, a big deal of risks in your age category is just simply um, teratogens. Teratogens are things that you can control to keep your body healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so one of my questions I would have is, do you smoke? No. Oh, excellent. See? There you're doing fine already. <laughs> another one is, do you drink alcohol or take any recreational drugs? Um, no. exercise. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I kind of want to know if I can have sex with my boyfriend or not. I mean, you know, just things I want to know. I know oh, it's and, and if anything, you should never be embarrassed to ask your doctor. It doesn't go anywhere else between, except for you and me in this room. And I have lots of information. And if I don't have it, then we'll find you a place to find okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so traveling is absolutely something safe to do right now. Okay. Um, in fact, your tri second trimester is perfect because you're not sick and you're not too close to delivering the baby. So this would be a great time to take a break and take a great vacation because once the baby's born, you're going to want to look back on a nice relaxing time. All right. Listen, I know you are embarrassed to ask, but it's okay. Lots of women have this question. It's absolutely okay to have sex while you're pregnant. Um, it's important to make sure that you communicate with your partner what feels good and what's comfortable and what's uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. All right. I have um, something right here that I pulled out because I knew you were in your second mm -hmm. trimester. Do you want to hear a few details of what's going on with your baby? Yes, please. Okay. So in your second trimester, the activity increases greatly. Okay. Um, the baby starts to recognize and react to the outside sounds and touches. Um, it does what they call acrobatic feats within the amniotic fluid. You start to feel a butterfly feel. That's mm -hmm. the beginning of that. Um, the baby also develops muscles with practicing or kicking, grasping, grimacing, and smiling. So as we do ultrasounds, mm -hmm. you'll start to see some of those expressions. Hi. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just And I've been very sick and throwing up and stuff, but that's probably 
slightly normal. Sure, that's posture. absolutely normal. Let's deal with that first. Okay. So, um, morning sickness, and, and that can last quite a while through your pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Normally it's in the first trimester, but some have it longer. Okay. Um, what we usually recommend is to make sure that you um, eat a well-balanced diet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's hard to do. Yeah. Um, and so, um, what are you doing to deal with your emotions? Um, well, lately I've just been trying to escape a little and not deal with him because we just end up fighting mm -hmm. constantly and it's not good. It just makes me even more sick and I don't know, I've just been leaving a lot. So. Okay, and, and does that kind of help relieve the stress at the oh, time? A little bit, because I don't have to deal with him, but mm -hmm. I mean, then I come back home and everything's fine and I'm happy. I feel like I'm bipolar sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that must be frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I was, I was going to check and see, do you have friends that you can turn to that have had babies? Yeah, I have a lot of older friends that have had children already and are experienced with it. And do you talk to them about your emotions? Um, you yeah. Know? Most of them say that they had the same sort of mood swings and stuff, so I just figured it's normal and I'll get over it. But right. It's been happening a lot lately, so I was just kind of concerned. Yeah, and, and that's frustrating. So if you've taken a walk, if you've maybe had a cup of tea and you've you know, taken some time to yourself, another avenue is yoga. It's very calming. Um, talk to your parents also. They've been through it, obviously, mm -hmm. right? And then you can always call a counselor and go see a counselor. That, okay. that would help that a lot because then your boyfriend could go with you and both yeah. could learn from this process. Yeah. Perfect. And also, I had a question about when I actually have the baby. What should I expect during labor? I've heard it's very painful and stressful for everyone in the room, kind of. But what sort of things should I expect when I'm actually well, having the baby? I'm glad you're thinking ahead of time mm -hmm. about this. Um, what you want to do now, especially since you're, you know, about midway through your pregnancy, mm -hmm. is go ahead and start signing up for some labor and delivery classes. Okay. That way, you and your partner will be going to this, and they'll walk you through what to expect when you're going into labor. Um, their class is especially made just for that. Um, there are a few things that you uh, might want to know, I have on my list here, is that um, labor goes in many stages. Um, there's a, a latent stage and a transition stage. So the latent stage is why you're in labor and transitions when the baby's actually coming out. Um, your cervix dial is um, from 3 centimeters to 10. Mm -hmm. At 10 is when you'll have the baby. And um, while you're um, in transition stage, that's when you will um, have contractions. Um, and you're going to learn all about this in labor and delivery. So okay. don't feel like you have to memorize it now. Um, there are many things that you can do, um, like with deep breathing, and you can get an epidural to help with the pain. These doctors and nurses specialize in this kind of thing. So it's really important to take these classes so you can learn as much as you can. Mm -hmm. OK. Don't be as painful. That's what I'm really worried about is the pain. Sure. And that's a normal thing to be concerned mm -hmm. with. Um, there's a couple things you want to do. You kind of obviously have to take these classes so that you have more information. Okay. You also want to make out a birthing plan, and they'll help you walk through that too, is what to expect. Do I want a natural delivery? Do I want an epidural? Do I want my mom in the room? Do I want nobody in the room? Do I want my yeah. partner in the room? So you have lots of questions, and you still have some time, so yeah. I'm glad you're asking this now. Okay, perfect. Thank you, and I'll see you in a month. All right. Okay. Have a Bye. good day. weight have I gained? Like in total and I, have we got the test results back from like I don't know what what's that like is my baby okay or I'm just kind of worried about that. Let's answer that question first because obviously that's a very emotional question. And okay. um, we got your blood work back after your last visit and everything came back fine. <sighs> okay. Yeah, your baby's absolutely normal and healthy. Okay. Um, clearly, you've taken good care of yourself and your baby, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, clearly, some um, defects could happen because of chromosomal, but it also can happen because of teratogens and nutrition. You've done just great. Okay. Um, with your weight gain, it says here on your chart that you've gained about 26 pounds. Once again, Ooh. right on target. <laughs> okay. You've done really well taking care of yourself. All right. Um, and after you um, deliver this baby, you should be able with proper nutrition and some exercise to just go right back to normal self. So when is my due date? Okay, so let's let's calculate this here. You're at 39 weeks, so it looks like you're due next week. Okay, so my mom, when she was having me, she was over, like, the due date, she went way over it. So how long over until they, like, induce me or have a C-section or something like that? Like, when do I 
should I expect that if I'm over my due date? Well, what we're going to do is next week when you come in for your visit, we'll um, see if you're dilated at all. If you're dilated, we might go ahead and um, induce from that point. Okay. If not, then we'll go ahead and schedule an induction. We'll go maybe go ahead and wait about 10 days after that. Okay. Um, that'll also give you time to maybe get your mom here from out of town, get some support here for you, get your bags packed, maybe put some food in the freezer so that after the baby you have all those things taken care of. Okay. Um, as we have you go through labor, whether it's induced or natural, um, we'll see how you're dilating and see how the baby's heartbeat is regulating with that. If the baby is under stress at all, then we're going to talk about having a C-section. Okay. But until then, let's try to do this as natural as possible. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Hopefully um, we have this on time because, I don't know, C-sections still sound pretty scary. <laughs> C-section does sound scary, and I know at this point you're pretty uncomfortable, but it's almost over. You've done a great job. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. We'll Thank see you, you next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>